What is up, guys? Ultra Ball's back with another Snake Draft game. Uh, if you didn't see the last one I did, Sabella vs. Snow, uh, pretty much Doc threw, threw a couple games my way to do for him because uh, it's pretty busy at the moment. Got a got a bunch of games that we got to get out to you guys, so uh, I'm taking over for a few. Uh, so yeah, this game we got Blunder vs. Willie U. Uh, Blunder's bringing a team that I actually know. I think ABR used this in his game versus NJMP. Uh, from what I remember, it was Scarf Tran, uh, Call Mine Megalotti, uh, Call Mine Cosmic Power Clefable, and then uh, defensive core of uh, Pax Pharaoh and Landorus, so Hazard Stack. And it looks like Willie Yu brings something similar with Hazard Stack. Um, if I had to just guess, like based on preview, Latios probably is Scarf and Tyranitar is probably Banded, but I guess we'll see that as we go on because the, and then Lele is probably Specs. That'd be my guess, but uh, yeah, pretty similar teams, so I guess we'll just hop right into the replay. There's a Blunder leads Ferrothorn as Willy U leads Landorus, so this is free uh, free hazards for Blunder. Uh, so he's going to get up a spike here, yep, and uh, this Ferrothorn uh, could also get up a spike. They'll probably exchange Nox first. Um, see, yep, that's what Willio does. And now we'll probably just see spikes back and forth. We'll layer up the spikes immediately. So it should, uh, definitely help this game go <laughs> accelerate a little bit. Because we got two fat teams here. Um, okay, so Willie use Pharaoh's actually double hazard. Uh, so he gets up his, gets up his first spike. He's probably just going to spike again. Is I'm assuming this Landers could just get up rocks for Blunder. Uh, because, yeah, this was fat Lando, if I remember. Uh, as he U-turns on the opposing Landers. So good play on his part. Gets in his Clefable, and yeah, so this Clefable is like Calm Mind Cosmic Power and then Soft Boiled Moon Blast. He goes into the Pex, uh, but as long as Pex has Haze, like, this isn't going to be a threat for Will U, because, um, yeah, I mean, the Clefable can never boost, so he could just he just Haze him whenever he starts getting out of hand. Uh, so this Pex, we'll see what he goes for here. Uh, he recovers here. Now the two Pexes are in. Um, I assume they're going to throw off Scalds, because, like, the amount of Mons that get hit. So, like, Blunder, look at Blunder's team. He actually has zero Mons hit by T-Spikes, <laughs> which is, that's the way to go, because T-Spikes a broken-ass move, so, um, <laughs> good call having a team not weak to that. Uh, even Willie U's team's not too weak to T-Spikes. You see, he gets the T-Spike, Blunder does get the T-Spike up here, but it's going to be pretty easy for him to pivot around and then, uh, absorb it with the Toxapex, not letting anything get poisoned. He has two Mons affected by T-Spikes, the T-Tar and the Lele. So he goes Latios here, we'll see what this is. Like I said, I could assume Latios would be Scarf here. He goes to his Lottie, I think, yeah, so that covered Psyshock and Trick, so that was a good play on Blunder's part. Um, not expecting the Draco, because Clef was probably the safest switch there, Clef or Pharaoh. So he goes Clef here on the Draco, that's a fire play, um, uh, scouting for a Not Scarf, so it was Not Scarf Latios. So that's something I might have gotten me, because it does look Scarf on this team. So it was a good play on Blunder's part, not staying in, uh, Making sure that this thing's not Scarf. Going to Clef on the Draco. Uh, so Clefable gets burned, which is good because now it can't get, I guess, para. But I don't think anything on this team has Thunder Wave because the Pharaoh's double hazard. So it's double hazard. We saw a knock. So it's either non-leech or non-power whip, which either way is like a weird set. Normally if you see double hazard, you see, you see it with um, leech and power whip. But uh, yeah, so Clef Cosmic Power's up. Um, I mean, this Pex, though, has... We'll see, it should have Haze, so it shouldn't matter. So he throws a Toxic off there. Okay, so Willie U actually doesn't have T-Spikes, which is better in this matchup, like I said, of course, because there's uh, no T-Spike, or Blunder has nothing hit by T-Spikes. So we have a double into um, into the Clefable on the Latios. Obviously, Willie U is going to switch out. Back to Pex, um, and uh, this is going to be pretty repetitive, I think, because this Clefable, as long as Pex is alive, isn't going to be able to really do anything. Uh, but, like, Willie use Pex can't really do anything either because of <laughs> Blunder's Tux of Pex. So, we're going to have a lot of just Pex on Pex action here, is what I assume. Uh, just kind of sitting around for a little bit. As he goes back to Clef, um, catches the double into Latios. Another good double by Blunder, but, like, it's it's risk-free because the Pex can't touch the Clef either way. So, even if, like, the even if Willie U stays in, it doesn't do anything except for waste pe uh, PP on the Tux of Pex. Um, so... I think this is where we might see rocks. Yep, we do see rocks from Blunder's Lando. Uh, Willie U, we don't know for sure, but um, I actually think because now the Latios wasn't Scarf, I'm pretty sure that this Landorus is definitely Scarf, especially seeing that um, the Pharaoh had double hazard, uh, and that Landorus, uh, Willie U's Landorus doesn't have rocks. I'm assuming that it's Scarf, uh, and it was faster than the other Lando within uh, had U-turn, so I'm pretty sure that's Scarf Lando on Willie U's part. Uh, so now we have Pharaoh on Pharaoh action. Um... <laughs> 
this is this happens in every single Pharaoh vs. Pharaoh matchup where people will just sit in for 30 turns and just do nothing to each other. They'll just they'll just look at each other for a while. Uh, they obviously neither of them can touch each other since they both been knocked and both have both uh, players have max layers up. So uh, Pharaohs are probably just going to sit here and spam Leech Seed for a while. Um, and yeah, I, there's not really much to say about this. <laughs> Nice, exciting Pokemon battle we got going on here. Ferrothorn new spikes, Ferrothorn new spikes. Um, I'm hoping this moves along at some point, but I don't really know. Like, neither player has like a good. Neither player has, you know, like a good thing to go into because, um, like, they don't want to get Leech Seed to let the Pharaohs get healthy. But at the same time, I don't know. Did we, I, I might have missed? It. I don't know. Did uh, Willie use uh, Ferrothorn show Leech? Because it might not be Leech. It, I mean, it could be Knock Power Whip. Because we saw Knock, we saw Double Hazard. We haven't seen Power Whip, but like, it has to have Power Whip, right? So I'd assume that it's no Leech now, actually. Which which meant that Blunder could have done this a long time ago. <laughs> Unless I missed it. Uh, I may have missed him going for Leech at some point. But uh, regardless, I don't think it's going to matter very much here. Uh, if he has Leech, he should probably go for it here. Um, otherwise he could knock off the helmet, I think is another play. Like, I don't think you need to keep this because if you switch out, it comes back in at no health, the Ferrothorn. So yeah, he does knock off the helmet. Uh, Landers here could just go for, yep, go for HP Ice is safe in case he wants to go his own Landers. Obviously he kills the Pharaoh. Uh, so this Landers is at 40. I think he's going to want to keep this around though because it's able to, um, check the T-Tar, which I'm assuming is Bandit. So you probably want to keep this. What do you sack his own Pharaoh? Yeah, good play by Blunder. That was doing nothing, coming in at 18%. So we sack that. Uh, now we go into Tran because it should be Scarf. Yeah, and I think Earth Power is free. Um, yeah, Lele is not staying in. He has two switch ins. They both are hit super effective by Earth Power. Let's see if Blunder. Yep, Blunder does make the play. So good play on Blunder's part. Um, he doubles because like the Lando and the Lottie are pretty obvious, especially if Willie Yu knows this team. Uh, we didn't see leftovers, so yeah, it's pretty much going to be Scarf confirmed at this point. A fire play um, exploding on the cleft by Willie Yu. Uh, this thing being low is really, really helpful because now it's in range of Lele and um, Lele and Titar. Uh, it's still out of range of Psyshock, I think, on the Latios, uh, unless it's Soldu. I'm pretty sure Soldu would kill. Um, it's not Life Orb. We didn't see any Life Orb when he attacked. But uh, we did, we still don't know the set. Uh, could be Z, I guess. It could be uh, Soul Dew. Um, if it is Z move, if it's Z Psychic, it obviously kills. He could go to that now. But it's kind of telegraphing it. Uh, if it's Soul Dew, Psy Shock also should kill. But um, if it's just like yeah, normal Psy Shock will not kill uh, at this point because I'm pretty sure it does like 30. So I think it, the Clefable might be just out of range. So I think Willie use two plays like that I would make is either going to Lele or going to Bantar here. Uh, the problem is if you go into Bantar, you kind of have to hit Stone Edge because you can't click Crunch as obviously not doing shit. So uh, you're kind of risking hitting there. So with that in mind, I'd probably go Lele. And what would I click? Um, I'd probably click Moonblast because you're not like I don't you, like if you go Lele. I think Blunder's only plays are either to sack this or to sack. Um, yeah, I actually don't know. Because, like, his only switch into Psychic would be Mega Latias, right? But, like, he's not risking Heatran because he needs that to revenge kill um, pretty much everything. And he's not risking his, his Pex. There's no way he risks Pex. Um, actually, but, like, he doesn't... I don't think he necessarily needs Pex anymore, so he could make that play. Um, but, yeah, I, if I was Will you, I'd probably click... We don't know this, this Lele set, but I would assume it's Pex. Uh, just by the way it's been played so far. Um... And I think, yeah, so I think Blunder's, like, his play would probably be going into Lottie, uh, Mega Lottie on a Psychic move. So if I was Willie Yu, I'd probably click Moonblast here and try to catch that. Because like I said, I don't I don't think you'd ever go, like, you're definitely not going into um, Heatran here. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, the only play is Lottie. So let's see if he makes the play. No, he just Psychics. Uh, so that was a good play by Blunder. But like I said, I think Moonblast was a fine play on Willie Yu's part. He just gets him there. So uh, Lele stays in, so it's probably yeah okay. It's not it's not locked. All right, so Latias dies. Uh, that definitely had me off guard. I I didn't see that coming, but yeah, then it was, Psychic was a fine play then because you know that the Latias is going to recover and that you could just kill it. So all right, Heatran here is uh, I think if I was Blunder here, I'm clicking Flash Cannon 100% of the time with the Tran because um, Earth Power on the um, 
Titar or the Pax is really obvious. So I think his play would be... Or, like, in Flash Cannon, obviously hits Titar too. But, like, Earth Power you'd think is free because it hits everything outside the Lottie. So Willy you might try to go to Lottie on an Earth Power, but I don't think he should risk that. But if he did, I think Flash Cannon's fine. And I don't know what Pex is at, but Pex has been taking all these hazards, and it took an Earth Power last time. So it's incredibly low, because you actually it's taking more from hazards than it gets back with regen. So I'm pretty sure it would get to it KO'd by Flash Cannon. Um, I'm not positive about that, because I don't remember exactly what Pex was at, but it took the big hit with Earth Power. So, so yeah, he does just Flash Cannon, like I said. So, fine play. I think now you... I don't know what Pex is coming in at, so we'll see what Willy U does here. Uh, I think... Like I said, I think Pex is pretty much dead. So I don't remember. I wish I, I wish I knew what the Pex was at, but um, I think Willy U could either go into Titar or like Latios definitely eats one and could kill this with Draco, um, or Psyshock should kill because it's offensive Tran. So I think he can make either of either of those two plays make sense to me. Cause yeah, I, like he might want to keep Bantar healthy, but I don't know what he would need. He doesn't really need a healthy for anything, I don't think, because like. It's always gonna. It will always be able to kill the Clefable, and it's faster than that with Stone Edge. Um, and it's always gonna be. It's slower than Lando. It doesn't like you don't need health on it to live an earthquake. It's gonna die from earthquake regardless after all these spikes and rocks and stuff. So, uh, I think Titar. Yeah. So he does go Titar. Like I was saying, I think that's fine. Um, he's probably gonna click Edge here because like the the worst thing that ha could happen for Will you is clicking a dark move and then letting the uh, Clefable heal up because then I think Clefable like solos because I think it could actually because it's got double setup I think it could PP stall hazes oh that sucks that that miss sucks that's so lame um, so yeah I think Blunder's in a really really good spot now guy I think he just spans Flash Cannon could win. Um, yeah, Blunder says sorry. The, the, the thing, though, is Lottie is a huge threat still. Because, like, what does he have? Like, the only thing that reliably is going to take a hit from Lottie now is, like, the Clefable. Because um, Lando's in range of Psyshock. I'm pretty sure it's coming in. It's at, like, 40. So it's coming in at, like, 28 or 29. So it's going to die to Psyshock. Uh, this should be able to die to Psyshock. If it doesn't, like, I, he'll have the Calico. If it doesn't die, he, it still dies to Draco. But the, the only Mon that could potentially still, like, deal with this Latios is uh, Clefable. Um, so yeah, if, I, I think Clefable, depending on the set, like, the, we don't know the Latios is set, uh, depending on the Lottie set, um, like, if it's Z, like, if it's Z Psychic, then, then I'm pretty sure this Latios actually wins, because, uh, Z Psychic would kill the Clefable, and then Psychic, Psyshock kills, like, everything else. Uh, Peck should die after Hazards, um, or even if it, I don't know, it might be able to live one, but what's it doing, it's not doing shit back, so... Uh, I think Blunder, yeah, he's doing, he's making the right play here, just fishing for Spadef drop. Uh, eventually he will get it, even though it's 10%, because, like, Pokemon's, like, dumb like that. He will get it eventually. Uh, I think, yeah, I think Willy U should attack now. He's gotten this healthy enough, I, w I wouldn't risk any longer. So i definitely click Psyshock here. Um, uh, yep, there's a drop. Oh, sh oh, shit. <laughs> It's called mine. All right, the game's over. I think Willy U wins because, like, yeah, now Clef definitely doesn't live a hit, and everything else just dies, right? Yeah, this dies. Um, everything else dies to Psy Shock, so that should be over. Yeah, Blunder forfeits. Wow. All right, so that's a win for Willy U. Um, I'll be honest, like, I didn't see the Call Mine Lottie coming, uh, but like, yeah, it, it looked like Blunder was in a decent spot for most of the game, but um, yeah, Call Mine Lottie definitely was a threat. It, it's funny, right? Because. <laughs> Because Blunder had like a Heatran, a Pharaoh, a Clefable, and a Mega Latios, and he still lost to Latios, which is like crazy to think about. But like, yeah, everything got weak. I mean, the hazards really sped up this game, which was nice because otherwise, like, I I'm assuming neither team had Defog, which is good because if if someone wanted to get hazards off and had Defog, this game would have taken forever. So. Yeah, you see the recording there ends that Doc sent me, so <laughs> guess that's my cue to get out of here. But yeah, good win by Willie U. Uh, that was a fun game. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, uh, I do have a YouTube channel. Link should be in the description. Make sure you check me out. Um, make sure even if you didn't enjoy me, you still give thumb hundreds of thumbs up to my man Doc Rich for bringing you all this tournament coverage. Uh, if you don't like me, don't take it out on my man Doc. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get at. So, <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed though, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and Ultra Balls out. Peace.